I think the most important and most impressive performance MVP of the game on th- th- this entire roster was Brian Branch. This man was everywhere. He put up a ridiculous stat sheet. He had 11 tackles in the game, all of them solo tackles, three tackles for loss, and two pass defenses. Remember, this is a guy that every single team in the NFL passed on. This is a guy who came back for day two of the NFL draft because he wanted to walk that stage because he wanted his moment. And he got his moment, and he got another one on the biggest stage Sunday afternoon at four field playing like a demon putting Bijan robinson on the ground multiple times breaking through the line of scrimmage and getting tackles in the backfield in the run game in the pass game the man was everywhere he was making plays i shouted him out after the game he was walking by we saw him when they were walking up to tunnel i was like second round huh tell him about the second round and he looked at me he gave me a smile and a nod and kept walking because he knows he's this good. He knew he was this player. Brad Holmes knows he's this good. Brad Holmes knows he was this type of player. And he went out there and showed us. He's Hell looking yeah. like one of the best defensive rookies in the NFL, if not the best defensive rookie in the NFL. And this is a guy you got in the second round. Yeah. And before the season started, we were sitting there at the bar before we watching the game here for the, the live stream. I put the money down on, on Brian Branch winning defensive rookie of the year, plus 2,500. I bet those odds have changed. I bet those odds have changed drastically. Dude was all over the field. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm trying to like uh, try to hold myself back from it, watching the game back. He's just him, bro. I, I, I didn't want to use. I, sometimes I, I say crazy things, only because it's the only way I could like articulate it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna say a baby version of this. Baby, baby version. Don't of say Ed Reed. No, 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 no. But a little, little bit of Charles Woodson, a little, little bit of Honey Badger. Like, like, like and, and the crazy part too is like, yeah, we, we saw Brian Branch at the end of the game walking through the tunnel. So we gave him a little shout out. But just his mannerisms in itself, he seems like just kind to himself, kind of shy. Even if you go and listen to like some of his interviews, he's he's just a, a reserved guy. You love those type of guys because they're their life, they're everything at that point. The things they are passionate about is football. Mm-hmm. And another thing too is like I also noticed like how like like kind of small he was, and I I saw it. I, I'm, I'm, I took that as like a, like a good thing. Because he's, he's still a young man. Yes. He's still, like, he's growing into his body. Old. Yeah, he, he's going to get bigger. He's going to get stronger. And he's going to get better. He, he's just a rookie doing these things. 11 solo tackles. Yes. Three of them for a loss. Yes. Two PBUs. He was all over the he place. He was everywhere. He's making plays. One of his pass breakups, he showed off the vertical. The man got up, tipped the ball before it got to the receiver on the sideline, and he was in the run game is what impressed me the most. Mm-hmm. We knew he was a sure tackler. We knew he had great instincts. But the way he can get through the line of scrimmage into holes and make tackles in the backfield like that isn't something you can teach. That is awareness. That is feel. And it's just overall good football IQ. Brian Branch had the most impressive performance out of any Detroit Lion last year. I know it's cl- or last week. I know it's close with Aiden Hutchinson. Sam Laporta also went out there. Jared Goff had a fantastic game. But... Brian Branch was everywhere. He was he was making it hell for Desmond Ritter and Bijan Robinson. The refs had to flag him because he was too damn good. He ran up there and cracked Bijan and put him on the ground. And the refs said, no, that had to be illegal. Nobody smacks that dude like that. Yeah. No, Brian Branch went up there, smacked him. Bijan was scared, so he put his helmet down, and his helmet went flying. That was a perfect tackle by Brian Branch. Bijan lowered his helmet, and Brian Branch got flagged for it. So you, you take that flag away, that's 12 solo tackles. Four tackles for loss. This guy is a monster, man. He's a beast. And he's out there playing like a vet. Like, a lot of times you see defensive backs with that many tackles. You're like, oh, that must mean, like, you're getting ran all over. No. No. He's in the backfield. He, he's stepping up on these run plays and knocking their shit back. And like you said, too, I mentioned playing like a vet. Because he had, had some vet shit to say. Yes. You did that video, Chris? He wants to set the tone. There's a certain reason why he hit Brian, uh, with Bijan. He didn't give a fuck. He was, mm-hmm. was going to knock him down. Our zone coverage, uh, I had nobody coming until Bijan came out to my zone and you know, it was a, just looking my chops, knowing that he didn't see me coming, and the quarterback still threw it. So, yeah. so, so when the flag comes out, and you're like, "What are you talking about?" Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'd rather that you, hey, I show my, show him that I'm not a, scared to tackle, man. Uh, I take the flag, to be honest. And and look, man, I, you you love that because one, one of the one of the comps I just made was with the honey badge. Mm-hmm. The Honey Branch. Honey Branch don't give a fuck. Yeah. Honey Branch don't give a shit. Honey Branch ain't never scared. He ain't never scared. Yeah. He said, fuck it. Fuck them flags. I love that shit, bro. Set the tone. Show Bijan that you're not scared if he's out in the backfield. This is a guy that was making 
veterans, NFL veterans, look silly the first two weeks of the season. Brian Burns said, fuck that shit. You're in my house now. You're in my zone. I'm going to come up and lay the lumber on you. That shit was beautiful, man. I was so mad he got flagged for that, but, you know, it is what it is. Lions had, like, three flag, three flags picked up in, like, the first quarter of that game. I was like, what the fuck's going on? That never happens. But Brian Branch, man, beautiful game all over the place, making plays. He looked like the best player on the field. It's like every single tackle that was made. I mean, obviously, we were there. We watched it in person. I watched it back today, before, obviously, before coming in. Bro, it's like every single play, Brian Branch was there. Even if he didn't make, make the tackle, he's in the vicinity. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, too, he has his playmaking skills on the ball. If the dude throw his way, unfortunately, it just, it just, he's, he's him. We, we got one. And it's just so nice to have. Like, we had GQ in the back half of his career. We signed him in a second contract or third contract, whatever it was. It's nice to have, like, a homegrown product. Mm -hmm. A piece that, like, is, is kind of embedded in the culture and within the city. And you may just have it for, like, years to come. And he's already got the chip on his shoulder. We talked mm -hmm. about he was the last player there, the only player to come back get, day two. Will Levis wasn't there. Other play, Michael Mayer wasn't there. Players that probably had first-round grades didn't come back. Brian Branch came back. Brian Branch came back. He knows. You don't give guys like this a chip on their shoulder. Like, that's not something you do. That is dangerous for the rest of the week. To have a guy like this with this kind of passion, this kind of drive, this kind of high football IQ, and just overall talent, to have a chip on his shoulder too, it's dangerous for the rest of the league. This kid's going to be here for a while. I love it. Such a freaky hoe. I love it. What up, Chris? Uh, and let's not forget this part. The Packers are the reason why he, yes. we were able to get him in yeah. the draft. So this Thursday, it's going to be the first time Brian Branch plays him. I'm expecting another big game. And it's so wild to think that the best player on this defense might be a second rounder in Brian Branch. Second the round, best player. Yeah. Second round rookie. Second round yeah, rookie. rookie. Yeah. Just insane. I love to see it. Uh, it's It's... Too good to be true, type stuff, you know. I mean, even in the disappointing game of last week, you know, I, I don't really think of Brian Branch as like, other than like the missed sack that he had, that was one of the guys. I mean, a lot of the abuse went to Jerry. Yeah. You know, uh, Brian Branch is, bro, he's just a fucking rookie. He's bro. a dog. And he, 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 one of his, his favorite things he said about uh, the game, you mentioned like when they asked him, he said, I, I, I like the way I shot the gaps today. And he saw those three TFLs. There was a one play where I, I kind of got nervous. The only thing that scared me about the Atlanta Falcons run game that I was a little bit nervous about was the fact that there was two of them. Mm -hmm. Like Tyler Algier is respectable, and Bijan is him. So, like, you, you know, they, they could catch you off kilter. But Tyler Algier had a catch, and he trucked through Anzalone. He trucked through, like, two more guys and had to game tackle him down. And the very next play, they ran the ball with Algier, had him in the backfield, trying to get his, him, saying, him going. You know what I'm saying? Get that, the steam engine rolling. Right away, shut down. Yeah. Brian Branch in the backfield. And not just a tackle, a little sit your ass down. And that, that's a guy who's putting his shoulder down and knocking dudes, oh, a linebacker and Alexander Maloney, mm -hmm. over like, like a sack of potatoes. Yeah, that was uh... The very next play, Brian Branch said, okay, fuck that. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Got him in the backfield for a loss. Mm -hmm. I, solo, by himself. We got him. It's impressive, man. Shout out to Brad Holmes. Shout out to Brad Holmes. He does it again. This man doesn't he get. Like uh, even the guys that you were like, all right, maybe this is a bust, maybe this is a bad hit, pick from Brad Holmes. If he looked like a good player out there, mm -hmm. that is one of the the question marks on Brad Holmes' drafting resume. It was Ify yeah. Malafamu, and he was out there yesterday making plays. Yep. The secondary as a whole, we talked about it. Jerry Jacobs, big bounce back game. You know he was hype. He heard all the noise last week. He was disappointed in himself last week. He goes out there this week and he plays a fantastic game. Plays a fantastic game. Yep. And Elway is right. It was Anzalone and Branch who missed that tackle. That's exactly what it was. It was uh, Anzalone got trucked right away. Yeah. And then Branch was the next second line of defense. And then they had the game tackle later on. Mm -hmm. The very next play, Branch said, all right, I got to get my lick back. Yep. Got to get my lick back. And he did. And he did. Oh, man, there's one other thing I was about to say, and I, I kind of I forgot what the hell it was. I don't know. I, just, I guess because I, want, I, want, I kind of want to apologize to Brad Holmes a little bit, too. I know he caught some slack last week with the, the Jalen Carter stuff because we needed a Jalen Carter last week. But mm -hmm. uh, have, having a Brian Branch. And by the way, too, for Brian Branch, a little uh, motivation. Because not only did you get the, the second round, 30, 32 of the teams passed up on you. You also had a team, they're so arrogantly full of themselves in their assessment of you as a player that they traded you to division opponent. Yeah. And that's the Green Bay Packers. And now you got your chance to get your, your lick back, your revenge game on them. In Lambeau. In Lambeau this Thursday. Yeah. And I can't wait for that. Because that shit's just disrespectful. Not did they not want you. They, they gave your pick to the Detroit Lions in their division. Tim Timothy Belts says Brian Branch, defensive rookie of the year, is now plus 1,600. Shout out to Timothy Belts for pulling that up there. 
I climbing like up, climbing up the, climbing up the ladder fast. I, Wilson with another good comment too. He says, "Best part is he's not throwing his body around and risking injury at all. Clean tackles. Mm-hmm. Remember Lewis Delmas? Yeah, f- was laying the fucking boom every time he made tackle, but was hurt all the goddamn time yeah. because of it. Yeah, it's, it's, Jeff Okuda was the same way too. Jeff Okuda was smacking guys last year, hurt, but he hit the field a couple times too. I saw him around, hit him on a, on a run block, give him a little back and forth, said what up to him after the game too. But man, I just I loved uh, the, just the violence, the hungerness." Out of that Detroit Lions defense yesterday, and Brian Branch was very much a big, big part of it.